All right, guys, welcome to Germany. We've had a little bit of an issue getting Russell set up in practice, but Eilert's got it pretty spot on. We've had a new gearbox fitted into Russell's car since you were last with me as well, which hopefully took him along a little bit quicker. Callum Eilert, after that point in his first race, will obviously be hoping to improve. He wants to be competing with George Russell. And it will be interesting to see whether he can make that happen this weekend. He's got a setter, which he prefers. Russell's not keen on anything I'm giving him at the moment. But I lot likes it. Let's see what they do in qualifying. It's a big weekend. We want to follow up with some big points. We're going to send out I lot first. And he's a driver that I've got a lot of time for. Hell of a lot of time for. And he's now part of this all British Williams, which was always the plan. Of, like, I know it's, it always seemed like I was trying to push Latifi out the door, and to be fair, I suppose to an extent I probably was. But when it came to having an all British team, that kind of meant a lot to me. So originally the plan was going to be for someone like Lando Norris. But then I thought, well, why not give Callum Eilat a try? And that's what I've done. I've brought him in. He's not particularly expensive, so if it doesn't work out, we can then just go for said Lando Norris or anyone really. But I'm hoping it will work out. I think the guy's got potential, hell of a lot of potential. We've nabbed him from that Ferrari reserve driver role, which is fantastic. And now George Russell will be his main competition. Russell is third in the Drivers' Championship, whereas Eilat is 20th, but to be fair, he's leapfrogged two drivers after one race. So that's fantastic on his part. So there we go. Eilat has put himself currently in fifth. He's the slowest of the times that I've been so far. Here comes Russell looking to set a decent lap time. Come round. What's he going to get for sector one? He's green in sector one, but not purple. So Russell you know, he's green in sector two. He's probably looking at about fourth at the moment. And in the end, it's 1.2 off. He's well off. And the Williams car in general, not great around this track. Not great at all. Okay. As long as it stays dry, which it is going to be staying dry, we can lay them off a little bit, wait for the track to heat up a little bit. And then I lot. We'll send him out again now. Both cars desperately need to improve, otherwise this could be a very disappointing German Grand Prix. Now, if I remember rightly, last season's German Grand Prix wasn't wasn't what we were hoping for by a long stretch. Brilliant from Eilat. He'll now have his lap. And let's get George round for his lap. He changes tyres. Whacking on them softs. Both drivers need to improve. Dramatically need to improve. He is green in sector one, is Eilat. That's big. He's green in sector one. At the moment, it's Bottas who's put in a huge lap, five tenths ahead of anybody. He's green in sector two. Don't think he's going to improve by much if he does improve. That's the thing that worries me here. I don't think he'll improve by much. He's only improved to go 13. He's still slower than Russell, who's yet to have his lap come through. So here he comes, George Russell. What can he do? Can he improve? Currently 12th. Sector one, he's green. Sector 2 is green. It's Sector 2 where Bottas flew. Absolutely flew. 
And it's set to three. Russell goes up to 11th. Eilart will be starting in 15th. Something tells me our car does not like this track. Valtteri Bottas, though. What a lap to put this car on pole. And McLaughlin, since coming in at Ferrari, he's put the car on third. Charles Leclerc's down like 17. So it's all British team. We had an all right first Grand Prix, but this one, the qualifying ain't gone to plan. Doesn't mean the race won't, but the qualifying hasn't. So soft and hard tyres on race trim. But we'll check the weather. As far as I can tell, it's supposed to stay dry pretty much for the whole Grand Prix. Which means 36 laps. Let's see what they can do. So you've got these that last 10 to 12, 15 to 17, 20 to 22. We could do mediums to hards, or hards to mediums. I think with George we go hard medium. So George will go hard to medium. And with Eilert, we'll go medium to hard. So we won't have any point of crossover and they'll be on different strategies. So we now just want to put hard tyres and race trim on both. And now it's just about making sure they can serve the tyres, which we're not going to make them do right at the start, but essentially you can serve the tyres as long as they can. But the grid for this German Grand Prix is Valtteri Bottas on pole. Lewis Hamilton joins him in second. Scott McLaughlin is third alongside Pierre Gasly in fourth. Max Verstappen starts fifth and Nico Hulkenberg in sixth. Sebastian Vettel is seventh and Sergio Perez is alongside him in eighth. Daniel Ricciardo starts ninth and Yuki Tsunoda starts tenth. George Russell will start eleventh alongside Felipe Drogovic in twelfth. Fernando Alonso starts 13th and Lando Norris starts 14th. Callum Eilat starts 15th with Kimi Raikkonen in 16th. Charles Leclerc starts 17th, Esteban Ocon 18th. And it's Antonio Giovinazzi in 19th and Guan Yu Zhou in 20th. Oh, big starts here. Big starts from my boys would be great. And it is lights out and Russell gets away. Okay, Ilot got away, but he got kind of caught up behind cars a little bit. And now Russell's getting caught up behind cars a little bit. And that will allow, yeah, cars to get past. Oh, what is he? He's looking to get down the inside here. Has he got past Perez? Maybe the softer tyre will get him through. No, he won't. And Callum Ilot is up into 12th. But he's now going backwards. He's now going backwards. And yes, Russell does get the move done on Sergio Perez, who will now look to fight back on those softer tyres. He can't. And we'll come round this corner and it will be ERS time for us. Callum Eilat looking at possibly getting down the inside and he does. Brilliant move. Callum Eilat, I mean George Russell. Callum Eilert's in 14th. He's gained a place on that lap. Russell's gained two places, but that Aston Martin will probably get him here on a softer tyre. So we're now going to have to tell them to start conserving their tyres a little bit more. And that will mean we will lose places, but it's something I'm okay with. We, get, we knew we were going to lose places. It was inevitable. Sergio Perez is always going to be a threat with ERS now. He'll just fly past Georgia. Yep. Yeah. In the end, just outbreaks him and gets through. Callum Eilat is down now into 16th place. There's a few cars that will be doing more than just a. They'll be doing a two stopper, which is up to us to combat the two stopper. But right now, George comfortably in 11th. Callum's in 16th. We'll see whether going for the one-stopper is the better option. 
That is something that we'll only see. Oh, George went wide and he's allowed Alonso through. Which was poor on his part. Oh, and it's not Alonso, it's Ocon, sorry. That's poor from me. Alonso's just taking Callum Eilat. And right now, the two Williams. It was a track where we didn't have much fun last season, if I remember rightly. It's a track we're not having much fun at this season. We're limping around it without much pace to us. And all these other cars are looking a little bit faster. I'll say a little bit faster, they're all looking a hell of a lot faster. And George Russell keeps going backwards. He's gone back again there. He's lost the place to Leclerc. Now Alonso will look to get up past him. We're sticking to the strategy because I believe in the strategy. Because they're eating their tyres. We're not. That's the difference. Everyone else is eating tyres. We aren't. So it's a case of us basically trying to stay as close as we can to some cars so when they pit they don't end up so far up the road. But right now, in all fairness, we don't look very We don't look very candid for any points, put it that way. We're looking a, a little bit out of place, a little bit slow. It's a track that we didn't enjoy last year and therefore I think we've kind of just taken last year's form into this race as things stand. We're up into 11th place now. So the first people have pit the Gaslies, the Ricciardos, the Hulkenbergs. They will have to pit again. They ain't going to make these tyres last to the end. That is for sure. Whereas us on the other hand, we might. Not these ones, but the, the next pit, shall we say. We go past your Bottas's, Verstappen's and Vettel's. So they're committing to a two-stopper. They are committing to the two-stop. And Leclerc's done really well with his tyres, in all fairness. Alonso now pits. And Calamoilo. He's gonna what he's gonna have to hold on to his tyres a little bit longer. Realistically, he's going to have to hold on to his tyres a little bit longer. Because like Sonoda, who's pitting now, he ain't going to be able to take hard tyres to the end. Yellow flag in sector one. Are we bringing out the safety car? We are not. Lando Norris has crashed. And when it comes to Callum Eilat, we are trying to keep him out until about lap 15... Lap 16, realistically. Hamilton's just so far ahead, he was able to pit and be ahead of anybody comfortably. And now Leclerc pits this lap. And Eilat, struggling around at the moment. So in goes Leclerc and Russell inherits third place now in this Grand Prix and Callum Eilat I think we're going to have to pit him this lap is it 20, 21 laps round about they should last for him so there we go Eilat will pit this lap and George Russell who's done really well on these hard tyres compared to everybody else, to be fair. And Eilat will come out on those hards. And he'll look to take them to the end. He's got past Giovinazzi nice and quickly as well, as we would have wanted him to. Virtual safety car. Now we're in a dilemma. 19 laps left. You kind of then have to... We wouldn't lose as much time, but we'd have to change strategy off what we're on. 
and it would be a massive risk, especially with Eilat. It's Eilat who's crashed. It's Eilat who's crashed. Are we on course for George, who's coasting, should we say, around to do the one stop and get points? Where is George on the track compared to, oh, he's literally just coming past, he ain't gonna get back round in time. So, no, ignore. He ain't gonna get back round in time. So, it's a, it's irrelevant, and we're about to come past Eilat's crash point. If we go around here, Well, maybe not. His car disappeared by the time we got there. That's Valtteri Bottas who was just going to eat into George Russell's time, as you'd expect. But George Russell, he's aiming to take these tyres and make it as comfortable as he can. Well, how long do the mediums last? About 17 laps, the mediums last. 15 to 17 laps. So... It's just got to last another couple on these tyres as things stand. As George, and here comes Valtteri. He's coming up behind now. We don't really want to battle him too hard. Just kind of let him past. Don't know what it is with George's teammates and not being able to keep the car on the track, but apparently they can't. But George here has a chance to proper make some history. make a point this is a massive chance to make a point for George Russell we're going to start another lap I think this lap is the lap to come in so for medium tyres is what we're coming in for I think the rest of the car will be fine pit strategy yep so this is the lap George Russell will be pitting He's done really well. He actually hasn't been caught by Bottas yet. He may before he gets into the pits, to be fair. There's every chance he'll get caught by him before he gets in the pits. In fact, he won't. George will pit from second. And it was a perfect pit stop. He will lose quite a few places, as he has. But he's come back out, and he's in a really strong position now. He's got stronger tyres than every car around him. And it is now up to him to push this Williams as fast as he can, as hard as he can. And eventually we may be able to put him on something where he doesn't have to necessarily conserve his tyres as much. But all those cars in front are going to have to pit again. That's a fact. And George Russell right now is running in 14th. By the end of the Grand Prix, he should be higher up by quite some margin so there's Verstappen he's come up just ahead of George literally the only reason that car behind's caught up so much is because we literally had to put the brakes on very unsafe driving from Max Verstappen and Guan Yu Zhou who will have to pit again before the end of the race And now someone else. We are getting so unlucky with people coming out the pits right in front of us. We're up to 12th, but now Bottas comes out the pits right in front of us. Hamilton is just unstoppable. He's won this race from there. There's a few more cars in the pits now. We're up to 10th place. So McLaughlin behind is six seconds behind. But I'm hoping we'll be uh, quite a bit further up the up the lineup, if I'm honest. A few more cars now in the pits, and George Russell now sits in sixth place. And it's all about can we go to the end with these tyres and get ourselves some points? And if we can, it'll be another fantastic drive from George Russell and he's so far doing 
a very good drive and Alonso's now in the pit so now George goes up into fifth place and now it's all about Ocon he's the next driver that we've got to look at who's possibly got a pit Joe's pitting now you've got McLaughlin right behind him who will probably have us for dinner Giovinazzi has crashed There he is. He's, McLaughlin has now been set free. We're in fourth place, but I don't think it'll be for long. McLaughlin on soft tyres is going to be absolutely flying. So we're going to go to neutral now for these next few laps to try and fend him off. I don't know if we'll be able to. But we'll certainly give it a good, as good a shot as we can. But he is going a little. He's right behind us now. Three crash cars in this German Grand Prix. We're doing everything we can to fend off. We're going to speed up a little bit. There he is. He's now right up behind us. And McLaughlin will make his move soon, you feel. It's inevitable. It feels like it's coming. Four laps left. Will George's tyres last four laps? That's the next question. Let alone will he fend off. Oh no, I've clicked that by accident. I didn't realise there's another crash. It's now Drogovic who's crashed. And... Oh, he's right behind us, McLaughlin, isn't he? In that Ferrari. And there you go. It's happened as it now. Russell fights back. Russell fights back brilliantly. George Russell is battling away. And he's got a stream of cars that just want to get past him. McLaughlin, one of them. Perez is another. McLaughlin now has made the move and that will stick. It was inevitable, I felt. It didn't happen as soon as maybe I thought it would. But it has now happened. And there's a stream of cars coming up behind George. And this could end up being a painful last couple of laps. Especially since Gasly is the next one. We do not want to lose this place to Pierre Gasly. He's on hard tyres. Fuck that, we're going to put it on overtake mode and I don't usually swear on these videos. In fact, I do try and not swear, but I do not want to lose this place to Pierre Gasly of all people. We know the battle we've got with Alpha Tauri. A sixth place finish from where we were would be great. Gasly's got ERS on. It's not enough. Russell's held him off. Russell has held him off for a sixth place finish. We've pulled off the one stop. Oh, that was a battle in the end. That was a battle in the end. We pulled off the one stop, which is fantastic. Just what you want to do, just what you want to see. Was pushing hard, getting that one stop done. George Russell, you know what? From 11th to 6th, that is a good Grand Prix. Shame what happened to Ilot. We're going to... Not judged just yet. Fingers crossed this isn't a sign of things to come. We do not need... I was going to say another Latifi, but Latifi won a race. So at the moment, we do not need a poor signing. And that could be what Callum Eilock might end up being. Scott McLaughlin, though. Looks like he's going to be a fantastic signing for Ferrari. So as we look, Russell holds on to third place in the driver's standings. Just about Bottas and Perez. They're going to be thinking, how could we catch him? Perez certainly will be. He's next up. And in terms of the Drivers' Championship, we are 50 points ahead of Alpha Tauri. 182 points to 132. We're not looking up. There's no point. You know, Mercedes and Red Bull will battle it out. I'm sure they will. But it's between us and Alpha Tauri at the moment for third. 
but Ferrari who are starting to pick up points quite rapidly well they could get themselves back into it which is obviously a worry on my radar we've got to try and take the form our form forward we have to Callum Eilert crashing not great yeah his morale will go down George Russell 6th place finish he improved nothing you can't argue about there 2.1 million coming into the coffers but it's a 39.6 million well it was a much better German Grand Prix than last time George Russell pulling off the one stop pulling it off to perfection as well and in the end we're looking at a very very rainy Italy next up can we utilize the rain to our advantage? I hope so. I'll see you guys in Italy.